Good morning. It's Thursday, September 29th, 2022. I'm in Lehigh Acres, Florida, and it's the morning after Hurricane Ian came through here yesterday and caused a little bit of damage. I'm about to walk outside and make my first assessment of everything that's going on out in my yard after the storm. I wasn't able to late last night. It was still dangerously windy after dark and this has been my first time seeing everything without the wind blowing around everywhere. My first objective is going to be to walk outside the front door and as you can see I have a palm tree laying right in front of the screen door there so I'm going to have to move that palm tree aside so I can get out of the door and then we will uh, take a walk around the yard and the house and see what's going on. it outside of the house and this is what it looks like from the other side of that door uh, that palm tree was one of the first things to fall down that I remember and that tree's been there as long as I've lived here I'm gonna miss that thing uh, fortunately there was no damage to the front of the house this is the first year that I've had these white storm screens up on the windows and they did their job well that was an investment well worth it because without those, that palm tree may have ended up inside of my living room. The uh, front yard is relatively clean. In another couple of days or weeks, all this front is gonna be a bunch of debris that I'm gonna have to pull out there. A Little bit of water pooled up, but that'll dry up quickly. My yard drains fairly easily. Uh, the car made it through unscathed, no dents or dings that I can see. The motorcycle is intact, which is good. My Starlink satellite dish survived, uh, which I'm glad. I, I won't be able to get the satellite internet going until I get electricity back in the house, but that's going to be very helpful and nice to have. And side yard, there's nothing here really to uh, take any damage. But then again, with the hurricane, you never know. They can do the weirdest things. I'm going to walk over to the canal next to my property. Uh, the canal is relatively filled. It was higher up than this last night at one point, but it never gets this much water in it. I think Hurricane Irma five years ago had a lot more water than this does right now. It was almost up to the edge, if not all the way up to the edge, overflowing into the yard. But we took a lot of water yesterday. So now going over to the side of the house and we'll see what's going on over here. Another palm tree is down and done with. That one's been here. Uh, for as long as I've lived in the home. So that's, I have no more palm trees left. They're, they're both uh, destroyed, both gonna have to be disposed of, and they'll give me the opportunity to start fresh again. Um, the air conditioning equipment looks to be intact, which is uh, good. I don't feel like replacing air conditioner parts. The little cover on that circuit breaker is right down there that should be easy to reattach so it didn't go flying too far but to the best i can tell there's no damage to the air conditioning equipment limbs all over the place from this tree here i don't know if i'm going to leave that or if i'm going to take it down and do something else with that but that's not a priority at the moment cleaning up the rest of the stuff is part of this tree did fall down not a big surprise because the whole thing is very uh, very not not entirely stable I've had other parts of that tree come down before from Hurricane Irma which was five years ago the plumbing equipment looks to be intact which is a good thing I, I really did not want to have to mess with replacing any of that because that's going to be having water is going to be vitally important once I get power back to the house 
Uh, right now there's no power in the house, no running water, no air conditioning or anything, but I hope to have that rectified temporarily today once I get my generator activated. More storm screens on the back of the house. Once again, these serve their purpose well. Uh, this was my first storm that I've put the storm screens up. So it's I, I got those immediately after Hurricane Irma and it was a uh, investment that I'm now very glad that I had the opportunity to do. Everything with the roof looks to be intact. I've not seen any damage to the roof. This roof is five years old. It was replaced after Hurricane Irma, uh, which was a necessity after that. So it's, it's a relatively new roof. It's in great shape. I don't see any shingles missing. Don't see any damage on, on this side of the house. I'll look around over on that back side here shortly. But from everything I can tell, that part is all intact there. So we're doing fairly good so far. And this here is the uh, big tree that, that I, I can't even describe the noise that this thing made when it came down. I was inside, of course, when it happened and, and I was very surprised that this uh, tree actually uprooted itself because it was very wide at the base and the roots as you can see, we're spread out so far all over the place. I mean, those roots, they stretched across the entire length of the yard. So for this thing to get knocked down, those were some very, very strong winds. The tree covered probably at least a, uh, at least a third of the yard back in the corner as far as how far out those limbs all spread. You can look on Google satellite maps on this piece of property here and see that that tree encompasses so much from up above. It's, it's going to change the landscape of the yard entirely. And I've, I've seen this before from the damage from other hurricanes, how these trees just get entirely uprooted. And, and it's still, it, it never stops, it never ceases to amaze me the, the power of mother nature to uh, just take these things and, and 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 pull them right up and out of the ground. The good news is it fell in the right direction. It, it didn't, uh, it fell away from the house and it fell away from the power lines over here, which is, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I, I'm, I'm gonna miss the tree and it's gonna be a lot of work clearing this thing up but but um, things could have been much worse than, than what I'm actually looking at here so when I come around to the side of the tree over here um, here's the uh, water well equipment that appears all to be intact didn't didn't uh, nothing fell on that so hopefully once I get power we should be able to get some water back up and running right after I get the generator plugged in. Here's a uh, inflatable life ring. Probably came out of someone's swimming pool somewhere and ended up right in here. And then the storage shed that was back in the corner that was uh, taken out completely by the tree. Um, I have gasoline that's in there for the generator. That's going to be a little bit of a of a chore being able to access that gasoline. Actually, I can see it right through the cracks in here. I don't know if you can see it in the in the video because it's a little dark. But um, at this point, the, the the shed is gone, so I just need to be able to get in there and take those gasoline jugs out, and then I'll be able to get that generator fired up pretty soon. So that shed is gone. Uh, there's some things in there that. Um, things inside of the shed that that uh, may or may not have taken any damage but you know I, I can I can live with that because um, all that stuff is replaceable so this the, the, the landscape of the yard is going to change dramatically 
the tree provided a lot of shade. It was uh, home to to uh, uh, birds and and um, it's going to be a, a new start. So I'm I'm all about new starts. I'm all about starting fresh. So I, I'll be able to get through it. Uh, let me go back around here to the back of the house and see what happened over on this side. Oh, wonderful. My bird feeder is still intact. I was wondering about this. I had messaged someone else and said, huh, I wonder if the bird feeder is still going to be there. So I will fill this thing up with, uh, I have some special treats for the birds. So I'll fill that up shortly and, and let those uh, birds in, enjoy a, a little bit of um, a little bit of treats and, and they can come and, and do their bird thing and keep on keep keep the uh, the cycle of nature rolling mother nature has has its way of uh, continuing the cycle even after all this destruction comes through here so there's a um, tree limb that fell up on top of the roof here I talked to my neighbor he's going to assist in getting that removed this, this area of the house has always been very precarious during uh, storms. Um, but from everything I can tell, there's no damage to the roof from, from that limb coming down. And the main part that I was very concerned about was the electrical mast, which is right here. That was ripped off during Hurricane Irma and had to be replaced which caused me to be without power for 15 days, if I recall. That was my one big thing I was worried about, you know, as the storm started coming through. Because with the electricity being out now, you know, it's all on the utility company to get their power turned on. However, after Hurricane Irma, my neighbors had power on within a day or two, but the electrical utility company they would not touch mine until I had fixed all of that equipment right here I had to have the uh, the electric meter and and the support mast and everything that was all ripped out of the corner of the house there and they would not do anything to reconnect that drop line until I had hired a contractor made all the repairs and passed the safety inspection which was about a 15 day process that it was without air and water but it looks like the drop line is 100 percent intact there's a, a small branch laying down on it which that should be easy to take down so um i'll be able to have uh be able to get power as soon as the electrical company uh as soon as lee county electric co-op gets gets uh whatever they need to do back up and running then then my power should be back on here's another view of this um, giant tree that's that's no longer standing up straight i'm going to walk around on the back of this and get one more shot from the back end see what it looks like from that angle ground is, is very soft here, um, which probably had a lot to contribute with why that tree didn't survive. This, the, 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 with the ground as, as moist and soft as it is, you know, that loosened it up and then, and then the wind was able to uh, push it down. And hi kitty cat. Hi kitty cat. I'm glad to see you made it through the storm too. So we got a lot of work to do to get this tree out of here. That's going to be an ongoing project. It's not going to happen immediately. And it looks like half of it went over into uh, my neighbor's yard over on the other side. Hopefully all of their property was intact and there was nothing destroyed from it falling over that way. Okay, that's it. So things, uh, 
things are very messy, a lot of clean off work to do, but nothing is irreplaceable. No one was injured. We all made it through this thing and we will all continue to recover and move on. Life continues. Oh, oh, oh.